And the Egyptian Minister of the Interior has announced that uh, former President uh, Mohamed Morsi could be imprisoned for allegations of inciting violence and conspiring with foreign states. These statements opened a new chapter in an eventful three years in the life of Mohamed Morsi. Morsi had been in jail before being sworn in as president in June of last year. Our correspondent in Cairo, Yasser Hakan, takes us through the rise and fall of Egypt's first democratically elected president. As he celebrated presidential elections victory in Tahrir Square just over a year ago, Morsi would never have imagined that this same place would be the platform for his downfall 12 months later. Going back to 2011, Morsi was one of 20 Brotherhood leaders who broke out of jail during the anti-Mubarak uprisings. They formed a political party which swept through parliamentary and presidential elections in the last two years. He was an opponent of the former regime for years and was jailed many times. That's why when the Muslim Brotherhood went into politics, they were the viable alternative to the corrupt Mubarak regime. They posed as religious pious men and this appealed to the public. Once in office, however, they created many enemies by trying to grasp all the power they could. Even their allies, the Salafists, turned against them. If Morsi's constitutional decree, which gave him unprecedented powers last December, was a vital turning point for the former president, his government's failure in other files was a catalyst for anti-Morsi demonstrations. His government took over with acute economic and security problems facing the country. It failed to ease the pressures faced by the people or solve any of the security or economic issues. A large number of anti Morsi demonstrators took to the streets because they felt their quality of life had worsened under him. Morsi blamed the opposition for the economic hardships, saying their violent demonstrations hindered his development plans. In the meantime, the military remained in the shadows throughout the year, but entered the fray when it cited what it claims as threats to the national security by the president and his group, relating to their relationship with Hamas. Our intelligence reports have shown Egypt's security is under threat. We advised the president several times last year. We told him to change his policies, but he did nothing. All factors combined, and history repeated itself. After mass demonstrations similar to the ones against the former president Hosni Mubarak two and a half years ago, the military intervened for the second time, but this time to oust Mohamed Morsi. He is currently detained in an unknown location, pending investigations on accusations of inciting violence, responsibility for killings, and conspiring with foreign states. Accusations that carry the death penalty. It has been a roller coaster ride for Morsi, from jail to the presidential palace and back to jail in just two years. But with the pro Morsi demonstrations still in the streets, this might not be the end for the former president just yet. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.